adding replays for your live sessions. So you can add replays to one-to-one -one bookings, live class, live webinar, and live interactive webinar. Now you need to record these, either use cloud recording or locally record them. You need to download the files and then upload them to the replay page. The replay page can be found by clicking on the live that you've just run, going to pages, scrolling down to the replay page and clicking the edit page button. Here is the replay page for that live. So by default, we have a placeholder video inside here. You just need to click it, click the gear icon, go to settings, click in the video URL, upload your video, select the file, find the video, select the video and click open and upload. Once this is uploaded, it will take a little bit of time for the video to load. Just make sure you hit save. So in automations, check out the support doc for live automations to find out more. You can send people a link to the replay page to watch it. Normally this would be sent out a day after the live has occurred or when you can fit the time to upload the video. Let's have a look at this page now by clicking preview. You can see the video has not processed yet, but the replay page is a good place to put any offers that you want as well. Please note that you can delete this button out if you do not want it in the page, or you can add more information into this page as well by copying blocks across or creating blocks. Let's now refresh this page. And as you can see, our replay is ready to watch. The link to the replay page can be found inside of your webinar under pages. And down here is the replay page. We can copy that and you can put that into your automations that fire out a day after the live has run. To find out more about automations, check out the live automation support doc.